यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन एब्सट्रेक्ट थीसिस सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस थ्री न्यू डेक्स फंक्शन रिलीज इन पावर बी आई डिसंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू अपडेट नाउ इन डिसंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू अपडेट देर आर थ्री डेक्स फंक्शन विच हैज बीन रिलीज एंड देर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस फंक्शन इज टू मेक योर कंपेरिजन कैलकुलेशन ईजियर ऑल दीज थ्री फंक्शन विल हेल्प यू टू कंपेयर द डेटा ईजीली एंड द थ्री फंक्शन आर इंडेक्स ऑफसेट एंड विंडोज नाउ इंडेक्स रिट्रीव अ रिजल्ट यूजिंग एब्सोल्यूट पोजिशनिंग ऑफसेट रिट्रीव द रिजल्ट यूजिंग रिलेटिव पोजिशनिंग एंड विंडोज रिट्रीव द स्लाइस ऑफ द रिजल्ट यूजिंग द एब्सोल्यूट और द रिलेटिव पोजिशनिंग सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स दिस कड बी रिलेटिव और दिस कुड बी एब्सोल्यूट पोजिशन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टेक वन वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दीज थ्री टू हैव अ क्विक लुक एट इट एंड हाउ टू यूज दैट नाउ what these function do comparing the value with the baseline finding another specific entry is the index function comparing value against the previous values using so that is offset and adding running totals or moving averages for similar calculation relying on the selecting range of values is the windows function so these three functions are going to do these kind of different functionalities and you might have seen similar kind of functions in sql language or so let's go ahead and experiment what these three functions are let's understand in details first of all what these three function what parameters they can take and then try to use them in power bi those okay and these functions come up with two helper functions called as order by and partition by which can help us doing this calculations so how these functions are going to help there are some example given in here like you know how index function is going to give you the results how uh, offset function is going to give a result so here they have used offset you know to find out the uh, previous color and then you know having a difference for that so calculate offset minus 1 all selected dim color and not it blank sales and then finding out the previous one and then the in the windows the range of the values has been taken in and had been used so what we are going to do is we are going to have a quickly look at these but before that just look at the syntax these three functions have almost similar kind of syntax and so like index function returns a row at an absolute position specified by the number of parameters so you have the position then you have the relation then you have order by blanks and partition by if you look at the offset function the offset function will have delta means plus minus 1 which we are going to do up and down for the comparison the relationship uh, the order by the blanks and the partition by again the similar syntax almost but the first value is going to decide uh, what is going to be different in case of index and the offset so the third function is basically having two of the uh, values at the first places first two places is basically from to two so we can do like minus 2 to 0 or something like that so we can move uh, more than one step in a go and then we can use it so uh, and then again the same relation order by blanks and partition by so what i have done is i quickly experimented with this one and i came out with some of those things and i'm going to discuss that so the way i wanted to you know address this problem is and i'm going to create two visuals first of all and that and why i'm doing so because this is what my month here sort which is basically a sortable column and knowingly i'm taking a time intelligence example where you know my i have a different sortable column than you know what actually column i have and then i want to bring in my major net and this is the same file i'm using in most of my other videos you can find the file as well as the base file both on github account okay so now i have this net and i have this um month year sort and month year net both are available here and i would like to first experiment with offset function i just wanted to find out what is my last month's net and then simply take a difference okay that's as easy as that one so let's experiment so we go ahead and then you know start our journey and here we say okay last month or last period we can say last month net so we say calculate net then we start offset function 
Now offset I need minus one because I want to go beyond. And the first time I say, okay, I will not give anything here. Let me give simply order by. And in order by, I say the order by should happen based on the month, year, sort. Okay. And partition by, I don't need. I can partition by year. In that case, what would happen within that year only these things will move. Uh, but right now, I don't need that. So I say, okay, you can continue. I close my offset function. I close my calculate function. And then I come out. So I got my last month net, the new one. And let me put it into both of them. So you see in the when I am using month here, uh, sort in my visualization, it is behaving correctly. It's giving me the last year, month, uh, the net value. But you can see that in the month here, it doesn't give me. So what I said, okay, fine, let me try out if I can give something here. And so I say, okay, let me try out all selected. And can I give month here here, all selected date month here. So when I do that, it doesn't allow me. So it's okay. I say, okay, let me only give month here sort here and then try out what happens in that case. So it's still in this case, it's not going to give the value. This one is going to be the value. So finally, this is how you're supposed to do month year, which is a participating and month year sort. So the sort column and any other column, which is participating, you need to give both of them. And now you start seeing the net for the month year also. And I don't need this visual, the second visual. Now I can, I can live with the first visual having the net and the last month net using the offset function. So now we have used the offset function. We also use the order by let's see if the partition by can make any difference. So we'll say partition by. And in the partition by let's use date and year. What happens when I do this partition by? So it's giving error. It means because in the second argument, we started using few things and we are not giving that. So let's add this to the second parameter. So if I was, if you don't give it there, it might behave differently, but once you start giving it here, you need to make sure that order by and partition by are part are part of this. So if you don't give it here, no problem. But if you're giving it the relationship, basically the kind of the table uh, which you are going to use in all, so that's where you need to have the columns which are used in order by and, and partition by. Now when I do partition by, the things are very similar. If you see, the only thing which is hand happening is it's not going beyond the boundaries of date beyond the boundaries of year partition by year. So within the year, I am only able to take the difference or within the year, I am only able to find out the last month, not beyond that year. So partition is going to, you know, limit my operation within that partition. And it would be especially useful if like, you know, if you're doing something like, you know, brand and category and you don't want to go beyond the beyond a particular level, then it would be really helpful in that case. So now we have seen the offset function. Now, after the offset function, the second function, which I would like to experiment is the windows function. So what I want to do is I'm going to, so let me rename this page as offset in case some of you need this file. Let's also save this file and I'm going to do a save as, so I'm going to say save as 80 December, December 2022 offset index windows. Now let's duplicate this page and in this page now this time what we are going to use is let's try to use the windows function. Now because I have this last month net and I we already know what need to be done. So what we can simply do is we can uh, create a window of three months minus two to zero. So let's say window three and then instead of this one I'm going to use windows window function. And in window function, I'm going to say minus two comma zero. And this time I don't want to use the partitioning function here. So I'm going to remove the partition function. So window two comma zero, all selected month here, and I don't need year also here right now. So let me remove year and the order by and everything is same. And let me remove the, uh, because I'm not giving any one number. So I can have this live with without this one. So let me create this windows and I'm going to bring it into this visual. And I'm also going to bring it into this visual and let me remove the additional things, which both these visuals have. 
because we are not interested to see what is there by offset function we already understood now if you look at the first one this is the sum of this is the same as 5z now this look like a sum of this one and this look like sum of these three now this is if you look at 9 9 approximately 9 9 9 so that is going to be so so this one include this one this one include these two and this one include these three so we have uh, 14 plus another 9 uh, which is almost like a 10 which is 20 24 now this is 28 now this 28 is basically 9 9 and approximately 9 which is 27 that is 28 again these are almost equivalent to of 9 9 9 which is 27 28 approximately which is the number again these things are like this and now you can see that immediately the smaller number has come it is 8 and 8 and 9 almost 60 uh, 17 and plus 2 is around 19 so that's the number again the two smaller numbers so we add it to 8 or approximately 4 the 12 mil 1.2 million 12 is the first number which is coming so now you can see my windows is you know the rolling so what i'm able to get here is rolling and and see i'm getting it on month year and the month year sort is the one which is deciding the calculation so in the visualization that another thing is present so now okay windows function is also working for me this is very first look we will explore these function more so window function is also working for me and now let's experiment with the third function let's duplicate this page and let's also have a quick look at the third function which is index now index is little bit different in that aspect and let me copy when um, the function uh, for you so let's go to last month net which is very similar here and what we are going to do here is we are going to create index using that one again in the index function the arguments are very similar to offset and index i'm not going to use i, I can use minus one okay let's leave it like this and let's remove the partition partition by or let's work with the partition by and then remove let's remove it let's remove the partition by and then start and then let's see what happens when you use partition by so we have the index function now with the index function we are ready with the new column and let's add these to both the visuals remove the other one so we are going to remove the windows from this visual as well as this visual okay so now what is this first value we are getting so when we said this minus one actually so the minus one is going in the available data it gone to the last value and find out this value and it has given to us that value but please remember when it shows the data it do shows the data which is available in that particular dimension so it, it's all and this is the value which is and let's sort it on month year sort okay so this is the value which it is showing right now to us okay now what is this value minus one it is last value so if i do the minus two is it going to give me the second last value available in my context so it's giving 65 the second last value what happens if i when i give one means in the positive I'm not getting any value. So let me give you one value 11. Okay. So do you see that this 11 value is coming because my month is starting from Jan this one. So it is actually uh, still getting the value from the all selected value, which is month here. It is not considering the, the sales is not there. Okay. So sales is not there, but this is the 11th index from the data, which is available for all selected month here. It's getting that. So can I put a filter to tell this function that, okay, uh, you consider uh, the, this one, or maybe, uh, right now let's use the partitioning so that can, can, can it further help us, you know, reducing this one to, uh, this one. So we give this and so we give order by and then we say second and then partition by first experiment with partition by and then then we will go and experiment with what happens if we want to get a filter okay so we got partition by and then let's see what happens when i do partition by okay so when i do partition by and let me and make this index 10 only right now 10 is the first month where, where i have the data so this is the first month 10 i have data now what is the data i am getting in 2019 so you look at this 10th month 207805 that's the data i'm getting again the 10th month the data i'm getting here 
So I am getting everywhere the tenth month data in within the partition of year. Now my challenge here is that uh, right now I don't have data for these dates, but still I am getting all these. So what should I do that? So what I go here is basically this this entire all select statement. I am thinking, can I put some filter statement here? So I go here and I put a filter, and I say this is all selected. Now net is a major, so I can still use it with the date table. So not is blank net parenthesis closed parenthesis closed filter parenthesis closed, and let's see what happens now. Now you see there is a change, and now let me make it one. Now you can see that now the calc I'm still getting this month here, uh, which is there. And now we have to, we have to find out the way to control that. But you can see now, because once I filter this net, now it is starting position is basically in the index is from this place. So I'm getting this and because I've used partition, now I'm getting the first month here and here also, uh, in the January, this is the first month value, which is repeating. So in this manner, you can use index function. So we have used. offset function we have used windows function and we have used index function all three function which has been newly released we just had a very quick look at all these three functions so go ahead and try that out and let me know what are the different kind of uses you find for these function what other things you want me to cover about these function in coming videos when we have a detailed analysis of all these three thanks for watching this video thank you Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.